problem 3.123. In this problem, we have a metal rod of length 2L, a given diameter, and a thermal conductivity. Half of this rod is inserted into a perfectly insulated wall, and the other half is exposed to a constant convection coefficient air stream with constant temperature T infinity. The part that is inserted into the wall is exposed to an electromagnetic field which creates a uniform Q dot, which is heat generation. The goal of the problem has three parts. The first one is to derive an expression for the steady state temperature for TB, which is the temperature of the base of the exposed half to the road. This exposed region can be approximated as a very long fin. The second part is to derive an expression for the steady state temperature T0, which is the end on the embedded half of the rod into the wall. The third part is to use numerical values, which are provided in the schematic, to plot the temperature distribution of the whole rod and describe the key features of this distribution. We are taking this problem to be a steady, one-dimensional, we're going to consider that the half that is in the wall is perfectly insulated. The second part that is exposed to the air is treated as an infinitely long fin. We have constant properties and no radiation. The first part of the analysis is to find an expression for TB, which is the temperature of the base of the exposed fin. Since we are doing a fin, we're going to treat it as an infinitely long case D in which we're going to be able to determine the heat transfer for this fin to be equal to QF equal to the square root of H P K cross sectional area AC and theta B. And remember that theta B is simply TB minus T infinity. In this expression, notice that we know the values inside of the square root we know H, the perimeter, because we know the, uh, the shape of the cross-section. We know the cross-sectional area, the value of K is given, and the value of theta B is given as this. What we're looking for is TB. However, at this moment, we don't know what is the heat of the fan. We do know, however, that the amount of heat that is created in the embedded part at the interface over here has to be equal to the value that is on the embedded and equal to the value that is going to be lost by the exposed surface. Therefore, we could simply say that the value of the fin is basically going to be how much um, energy is being generated times the cross-sectional area at the point L. So it's how much heat is generated after it has gone from x is equal to zero to x is equal to L. Notice that the heat generated only goes inside of the part that is embedded. Anything after x is equal to L, the value of Q dot is equal to zero. So using this expression, we are going to know what is the value of theta B. So we could just simply say that Q dot AC L is going to give us square root of H P K AC tb minus t infinity and by using that expression we simply say that q dot ac l square root of h p k ac plus t infinity is equal to tb so this is the expression for the temperature of the base uh, by using the assumption that the fin is infinitely long. The second part of the problem is asking us to determine an expression for T0, which is the temperature of the tip of the rod in the embedded wall. Please note that the embedded wall is completely surrounded by insulation, so we could treat this section to be a uh, constant temperature on one side and fully insulated in another one as a symmetrical a wall in which we have temperature constant at both of the end 
and they have heat generation within them, as it was described in section 3.5. By using the information that was provided in this section, we know that the temperature is zero, which could be either the maximum or the minimum based on the value of Q dot, is equal to Q dot L square over 2K plus TS. And in this case, we know that the value of TS to be equal to TV. So we could write it as simply TV. Now that we know the expressions for T0 and Tb, we could define the temperature distribution in both of the sections. So let's just start with section 1, which is defined from x from negative L to 0. And we have that the temperature distribution in this case is given as the temperature of the base plus the heat generation L squared divided by 2K x over l to the second power. Notice that this definition of the temperature distribution is obtained from section 3.5. If we go into section 2, which is defined from x from uh, 0 all the way to positive l, we find that the temperature distribution in this case is given to be t infinity plus temperature of the base minus t infinity times f exponents m to the x. This definition of the temperature distribution is used for a fin in which the tip is considered to have a temperature to be constant and equal to the temperature of the fluid. It's also defined when the length is considered to be infinity. The next step we're going to do the plot of both of the temperatures in MATLAB. In order to plot both of the temperatures in MATLAB, first we define all the quantities that are given on the problem. Second, we define anonymous functions for the temperature distributions as a function of x. Then we use fplot for each one of the temperature distributions. The first up temperature is given from negative L to 0, the second one from 0 to L. If we execute, we obtain the following graph. Notice that we have two temperatures, one for the inside, one for the outside. The temperatures that we have at x is equal to zero have to be exactly the same for both of the temperature distribution since that is the interface between the, the two cases. Please make sure to go back and review this exercise. Uh, make sure that you derive the proper expressions for the temperatures, T0 and Tv be able to determine the different temperature distributions for both of the cases and be able to successfully plot it both by hand and using MATLAB.